and here at the Planet Computers booth. And uh, hi, who are you? Hi, I'm Davide, CTO of Planet Computers. This is the second day here at Mobile World Congress. And um, we are so happy because we just went live with the um, integration with Yola. So, so uh, now this is a, like a commercial version, right? Correct, this is a commercial release that we have um, for Yola, uh, for Sailfish X. So, uh, so is there full support, full uh, full OS? Yes. And they're doing support. full support on your device? Yes, that's correct. And uh, there are two versions, a trial version, which is free, and a full commercial version. We can see that in there. Yes, so um, uh, this is the end result, uh, is the, the integration. So this is Safefish X running on uh, Gemini PDA. And, uh, and uh, this is uh, just a quick preview of, uh, of what we have done. So basically, this is our tool, partition tool, that uh, customers can use to personalize their Gemini experience. And as you can see, we have a few, uh, we have a, a list with a few operating systems you can choose to run on the Gemini. Uh, we have Android, we have uh, some Linux versions, and what we added now is uh, Sailfish OS. And when you choose to download um, uh, the software, which is composed of the base, sort of a base firmware plus the Sailfish OS, uh, you will get, get redirected to uh, the Yola shop where you can find uh, the firmware uh, for the Gemini. As I said before, there is a free trial, free trial. Uh, which is not limited in time um, yeah. for the Gemini and, uh, and the other Sailfish X devices, and there is a, a full commercial version. 29 euro. And potentially there might be some partnerships where it's actually going to be pre-installed. The full, um, that's yes, up to... Going forward, possibly, it's, it's definitely a possibility. And then it says, uh, uh, app support, and uh, this uh, yeah, this so one right here. Yes, yeah. uh, Gemini at the moment will have um, the uh, MS Exchange support, which is available um, in Selfish X, yeah. and, uh, and the support uh, for the, from, the, from the Yola company. It's so cool that uh, your company is able to have all these software working. Look, this has always been one of our uh, goals since the very beginning. Of course, we are a very small company, so um, we probably we have been slower than what we would have liked. It's growing, I right? And a few guys around, yes. one guy over there. Uh, this is uh, this is Igor. Our, yeah. Uh, let's let's introduce. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hi. Igor, if you Hi. Want to, Hi. Want to introduce yourself. Yeah. yeah, I'm Igor. I'm doing some application programming for the Gemini. So, what kind of stuff do you do? Well, I don't know. Everything that comes in handy for this 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 device. So, like. Application for taking notes and application for for. You can show. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Igor is the main guy behind uh, the Ledison application, the Notes application, and uh, and a few others. And, of and they're really and, like yeah. uh, optimized for productivity, right? Yeah, of you course. Them and nice for the keyboard. And the for the keyboard. Fields. And to have a nice uh, wide view, it's important. Yeah, and, landscape. And no pop-up keyboard. So it's optimized for no pop-up yeah, keyboard. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. So you can take some great notes, and uh, you can also do the other yeah. app. The other snap. So this is where you program your, your pattern, yeah. which you can associate with certain events happening on the phone. Yeah. So we have those nice five nice. LEDs right here. For notifications. Yes. You can have them custom color and everything. You can of do course, one. of course. You can nice. choose any 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 pattern you'd like and to associate with the, with the event. On and the one phone. of the other apps you have too? Yeah, I've been doing data. So this is what is that? Database? This is a database application. To manage databases? Yes, of course. It's a simple databases. Nice. uses. Oh, is this a real, uh, you're using it right now? Yeah, of course. It's not the private information hub? No, 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 it's, it's okay. not sensitive. Okay, and how about, uh, uh, don't you have a calendar also? Uh, that calendar was done by, by Mark Lawrence, not, not by me. All right, cool, and maybe there's more and more stuff to do in the future, right? Of course, of what course. What plans do you have? Well, so for, for Cosmo, we'll see. So we have a new screen, uh, we have to accommodate certain, certain, uh, S certain uh, specification from the current application. 
So what are you going to be able to do on, that, on the Cosmo right here? Do you have some plans? Of course, all the applications have certain functionality we have to accommodate for the external screen. So the user can, can do certain stuff without opening the phone. It's a lot of work, right? Of course. It's, but of course. it's going to be a very interesting challenge. It's going to be great in the end. Yeah? It's yeah. going to be really cool. Hopefully you can just uh, do all the stuff people might be dreaming about right here. Just a nice little integration. Somehow smart, very yeah. smart, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Optimize the UI. Yeah. That's going to be cool. All right. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Cool. And you have another colleague over here? Hey. Hey, what's up? Hi. 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 I'm Hi. Eric. So who are you? I am the relationship manager at Planet Computers. Um, my job is to ensure our stock is uh, flowing between our warehouses yeah. and um, to um, make sure our users are happy post-sales. So uh, you're doing uh, after-sales support? Yes, um, but we also um, um, take, uh, take a look at, uh, uh, I also cover the logistics side of the business, uh, so all of that is entirely uh, on me. So and, getting uh, all the stuff at the right place and everything? That is correct, yes, yes. Making that... sure everyone receives uh, what they ordered. and. Um, Everybody's stop. happy? Everybody's happy, yes. <laughs> this is a lot of work, right? Um, um, yes, but, but it's, also, it's, it's also keeping it different and uh, it allows you to, um, um, to, to do something different every day. Um, so, so it's always a very, uh, very flexible, very uh, interesting job. You always do something new. So unfortunately, I'm very unlucky. My Jimmy PDA fell in the water, <laughs> right? So how, yes. many, how many times have you seen this happen where people so, um, have water damage? Yes. Well, well, this is um, it's happening, uh, but it's not um, it's not um, of a major of major scale issue. Um, it, we've had around ten cases, um, and in such scenarios, um, because obviously corrosion is a massive problem. Was it coffee would, or something? Um, yes, we have coffee. People spilling uh, um, juice. So, so all types of um, accidental damage, uh, and in such scenarios, we would um, we would be looking to replace the part if it's replaceable. Um, and in the worst event, um, if you've, uh, you've been able the, to fix them all, um, or none see, of, um, or half of them, there are events and uh, there are cases in which you have to um, um, replace the entire device. This is if both the um, the top body and the bottom body of your of the Gemini are affected, um, then we have to replace the entire device. But we always try to the, the Gemini is a very a very serviceable device. Uh, it's nice. meant to last. It's been uh, designed to last. So uh, and that remains um, the case when it comes to serviceability. Can people? So, um, uh, order spare parts? Uh, yes, people can order spare parts. Uh, we've just recently started um, sending people batteries. Those so who, the battery um, that goes right here? Correct, yes. You just send out the spare battery? So, um, what else could be spare? Some of our customers prefer to replace the batteries themselves, which is uh, possible, and we, in that case we'll send with battery. Otherwise, we could also do it for them. It's not um, that easy to replace the battery, right? Yes, it's not the simple. Soldering uh, the or no? Simple, um, it doesn't involve any soldiering. Uh, it's more of a Lego. I like to think of it as Lego. Lego. There's, uh, there's uh, unplugging some connectors. Squeeze it the right plug... place in, right? Yes, yes. I haven't it's... been able to. I, I didn't want to yes. try it because I was afraid. Yes. But uh, how about the keyboard? Uh, some people break something in the mm. keyboard okay. and they can replace The keyboard or... is also designed. For so nine be... months, my keyboard has just been perfect the whole time. Yeah. yeah. But uh, is there been some issues with that? Or um, what is the most biggest issue? The... The, 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 the biggest issue is probably um, we had some issues with the keyboard mats uh, in the early model of the Gemini, um, but this has been they addressed. They had to change um, the, the mats. Yes, behind, the keyboard right? mats, but this has been fully addressed, and and um, and we we send anyone affected a new keyboard mat, um, yeah. so that so this can be updated. Which is not too hard to put in behind there. Yes, the the, the keyboard yeah. is designed to be uh, very um, user replaceable, and um, so you can change the keycaps in case any of that goes wrong. Anybody. Uh, uh, break the thing when they open it up and put the um, SIM card and put it no. back in? Or We've never it had very... Yes, we only had one case out of thousands that had an issue with the SIM card. Um, and in that scenario, unfortunately, we had to replace the entire top uh, body because that's part of the logic yeah. board. But and uh, what is the biggest problem otherwise? The biggest problem... Um, There's really no problem? Is that good? Um, we, we don't really have major issues. Uh, we, um, we, the, the, biggest pro the biggest problems to us are, are, are accidental damage. But again, we deal with those. Um, for accidental damage, there's not much you can do so, in terms like of like maybe it, it fell on the side and it cracked. Yes, it the cracked Gemini something is here. Relatively, um, the Gemini is relatively durable when it comes to screen um, to, to yeah. the screen. I dropped then, mine dozens of times and it's just yes. fine. Yes, um, it's it's due to mainly due to the clamshell design, and you've got this plastic here, which makes it very durable when it comes to drops. Um, so this probably 
one of the I say major because it's it's um, it's not free. Accidental damage is not covered by warranty. Yeah. So um, it's like you have airbags in the corners or something. <laughs> Some, yes, it's really it's, it's really a durable design. It's the plastic, yes. But uh, have you had any cracked screens? We have had um, around ten uh, cracked screen cases. Um, out of ten thousand. Out of ten thousand. So so. Um, so it's like we, less than zero point one percent. Yes, our customers. Well, our customers like to look after their devices. Um, we will sell um, some uh, protective bladder pouches. So and that can how help. about some broken mechanisms here? Or does that some never break? Some broken mechanism. Mechanism. Uh, we've recently been observing an issue with the hinge breaking. Uh, this hinge here. Um, but um, this is something we we are um, looking after. So uh, like thirty. Yes. Issues or how once many? We, once we ensure that this is not accidental damage, um, yeah. because in a lot of cases this would uh, be due to accidental damage because the customer is dropping yeah. the device. Once we ensure it's not that, we are happy to cover it under the warranty. Does the uh, does the hinge get weak ever or the hinge after um, many many uses? <laughs> this is a very interesting subject. Um, the hinge is designed to be um, to be um, to be. It's not uh, by by default. It's not as solid as you as you um, as you open the device. Yeah. But some of our users have found a way to make this uh, feel a lot uh, more solid. This is by uh, by kind of closing the the hinge slightly to the middle, and oh. this makes it feel very to solid. Tighten it. Yes, and I have actually done that myself, and it's oh, yeah? and it gives a very uh, solid feeling. Oh, but, you like the more solid. Yes, but again, we don't um, recommend this unless yeah. if you really require um, unless if your personal preference. Um, this yeah, is not recommended. I think there's no need. Yes, there, there is mm -hmm. usually no need, um, but um, unless if you really like it, nice. do it on your own risk. Yes, so how's this the is experience a, working yeah. with Planet Computers? Experience? Um, uh, it's, it's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> it's, you get to do something new every day, uh, and it's a very fast, fast-moving company. So that is always very exciting. In London? In London, yes. It's cool. Yes. <laughs> All right, so who's yes. next going to be hired in company? Oh, well, uh, we... we uh, we never know. <laughs> so who's next you hiring in the company? Are uh, you expanding? Uh, you want to expand? We, 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 let's see, let's see. I don't know. We have we have a lot of work, definitely. We always had a lot of work. So uh, at the moment, we are uh, focused at uh, the Cosmo. Obviously. Getting the Cosmo. And if the you Gemini. can make it a huge success, then you definitely yeah. will expand, right? I mean, definitely, you know, when you, when you start creating a device, um, there is only a certain amount of feature you can put in because it's always a trade-off between what you can do and the time you have and the challenges you get. But definitely, we are very, we're very happy, and um, with the, with the Cosmo, we are trying to improve uh, the things we wanted to have uh, probably done before, like slightly better. So it's very important for us. But also, Gemini is very important, and that's why we have so many uh, new things to show for the Gemini. Uh, such as integration with the Oxy environment and, mm. of course, Android 8.1, uh, which I'm presenting Was here. Was it a big no job to get 8.1 smooth on it? Did you have to it's fix a lot of bugs or um, is it just porting over the MediaTek code? No, it, uh, well, it took us a while, but we're actually quite pleased because the overall user experience seems to be much better. And some parts of the system are apparently more refined, like, for example, the Bluetooth uh, connections. They seem to be... They seem to improve a lot, and uh, so we are quite happy. We are still finalizing a few tests, and uh, uh, once everything is ready, we'll, uh, we'll uh, push it out as a nice uh, welcome update. And the battery life changes, or maybe it's hard to measure, right? Uh, I don't. Ha yes, I don't have actually. Uh, you know, because we always test uh, development unit with usually already attached to uh, USB cable, yeah. so I haven't actually tested that myself. So uh, definitely the Cosmo is going to be with Android 9, right? Yes. Is there any chance that Gemini is going to get it too? Unfortunately, no, I don't think so, because uh, the chipset provider, MediaTek, doesn't have any plan, as far as I know, to provide Android 9 on the X27. And that's the requirement. How about if uh, something happens over in the... Like, let's say the Oxy OS or somebody uses a uh, Oxygen yeah. OS based, you know. But like even just a lineage, it's all, it's, lineage, it would yeah. be possible. It theoretically, it would be possible to have, I guess, an Android 9 running some, through somehow. the lineage. Maybe, right? not, maybe not officially from Google, but yeah. Hopefully, with the fast GPU drivers. That's why I'm going to Embedded World right now. I'm yeah. going to check if there's some news about the open source Mali drivers. Yeah. And if there is, it would be a big deal for you too, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We are just, uh, we have, you know, the, the more open source, um, the more systems we have running on the Gemini, the, the, the happier it, it makes us. So, absolutely.